opinions and stories around the game we love told by your favorite storytellers stay up to date with all things cricket subscribe to crick buzz's youtube channel and press that bell icon now punjab are going to take on chennai we're not saying by any means chennai are mathematically out of it but uh, they now pretty much have to win every single game from here on they've at least got two on the board what a what a talked about game the last one was but let me come to you lisa first yes chennai are looking to put a streak mm-hmm. on punjab will know that and they know that there is at a stage in the table they can't afford to start losing too many no and punjab throughout this tournament so far is like win loss win loss win loss so they just haven't been able to be consistent whereas i get a sense that if we if we were to separate and just look at the the two leaders i mean what mahendra singh dhoni was able to do the last game we all loved him turning back the hands of time but mayank agarwal has really been struggling hasn't he he's been struggling from a performance at the top and then things haven't been going they've wanted to play that free game of of all of their players going hard and and scoring big runs and it worked for a lot of some of their games but the problem is now they've they're kind of getting themselves into a habit of not posting a decent amount of a uh, decent total so um yeah it's going to be a tough one for punjab because chennai i think are, are starting to get things together uh maybe we can have a look at the squads and see if uh, there are any personnel changes that uh, we recommend going ahead to this uh, crucial clash of course we're getting to a stage when uh, every clash other than maybe now with mumbai playing party poopers that still will end up being crucial because it'll be crucial for one of the two sides let's look at punjab's uh, team here and shawn if we just have a look at this we've obviously seen some of the big boys like liam livingston maybe didn't have a great outing last time around they'll want to put that game against delhi behind them for sure and tell themselves do we continue to go to the process that's won us games before play hard yeah what was the last game 118 or, or even less than 115 yeah yeah one and five i mean you, you can't ask a team with, with those stars when you look at those names there the top six that's decent mm. isn't it it's a it's some decent batting there there's consistency normally you would get consistency from agarwal besto uh, shikhar darwin i mean just those three at the top would often be grand in your runs if you just look at even last season so they'll be very disappointed about that the, the bowlers couldn't do much on the day um, you know they're already behind the eight ball before they even start and i don't i don't mind that bowling lineup i think it's got a bit of uh, variety uh, i like the look of it um i just i just think for them it is a massive game i mean when you look at the table yes they're sitting on points just above where chenna are but all of a sudden they lose to chenna and then exactly the same situation as chenna with the with, with regards to points and we're saying chenna can't afford to lose another game throughout the tournament if they're going to make an impact so it's huge i mean what's it it's number 8 and 9 um the net run rates none of them are impressive you know you can't afford to go down so as it's probably too early in the in the tournament to say that but it's almost like a do or die for both sides um mm. and that's the importance and when you look at the the momentum which we don't like to mention on the show is the fact that chenna are thinking gosh we got out of jail in the last game is this the start of something where we can run whereas punjab are saying well guys 115 in the last game we just need to put in something consistent something solid to give ourselves a chance Yeah there's no absolutely no doubt about the trend whether you want to use that word or not Chennai need to carry on from where they left off Punjab need to completely do a reverse and go in the opposite direction from the last game one quick person to talk about Lisa from you Nathan Ellis yes. that was the one big change Punjab made Odin Smith had been the consistent one throughout they made that one change Yeah and I guess for them uh, Odin Smith didn't fire from a batting point of view and he he, he was whilst he got a few wickets he was still leaking a lot of runs so i don't mind the idea of nathan ellis coming in he is a death bowler he's known for that he does that in the hobart hurricanes in the big bash um got his opportunity with the australian side the only other one that I've, i'm concerned about is sharuk khan as well you know we <laughs> we love the name we love what he can do we just haven't seen enough of it so uh, fingers crossed Yeah, and big guy. I mean, if for anyone who watched him in a few of his domestic innings and the build up to this tournament would have said, "Wow, that's the kind of yeah. form we want him in. Get him in there." So, yeah, some from Shahrukh Khan turn around from Liam Livingston and it should be back on track for Punjab. What about Chennai? 
they just want to keep going they wouldn't have want to let, let that last match go from then but yet it's been shown as you said a bit of a get out of jail scenario but they'll be really happy with a uh, maybe someone who they weren't expecting like a mukesh choudhry to stand up and uh, be counted yeah i was really impressed with his spell wasn't it it was really really good we normally don't even have to look at the chennai squad do we i mean they don't make any changes <laughs> they're normally stock standard but i suppose the the go-betweens have been moan ali and Dwayne pretorius you know do they decide what's the surface look like do they want an extra spinning option for the left-handers um in the, in the opposition side we'll just have to wait and see but there won't be massive changes you can you can just count on maybe one um but as i say i mean i think you know they've been listening to replace Chahar at the top of the order with regards to that swing he used to get for them and the starts he used to get them. Chowdhury certainly answered that call in the last game. So that was exciting to see. Yeah, I think the two who really miss out uh, are the two English connections in Chennai, Chris Jordan and Moin Ali for the moment because now that Mitch Santner has got in there, Lisa, he's mm. not letting go. He's obviously contributed and uh, waited long enough in the wings. Yeah, he has for a number of years, hasn't he? He just comes in for the the handful of games um, every year. But I, I loved how they used him up the order, um, that left-hand combination. He goes big, um, changes a few things up, but such a clever bowler. So I'm glad to see that he's back in. Well, one key player to watch out for from both of you, Sean, from that key game, and I don't think we can stress enough, it is a do-or-die game, really. We're getting to that stage. So one key player from either team, Sean, for you. I'm going to go best stick with the gingers. I want to see how he goes tomorrow. <laughs> I love that. I love it. Stick with the gingers. We've got clubs everywhere in this game, Lisa, haven't we? Who are you sticking with? Hmm. I think Chennai might get across the line and, and I'm expecting someone within their top order to fire. I'm going to go and buddy Raidu. Yeah, that's, I think, a very interesting choice there. Uh, Amati Raidu because again someone you're not considering you're thinking Utsapa has been destructive Rituraj law of averages done well once could continue yeah. to do well but nobody talks about Raidu's but when he gets there he makes it count so one of the veterans Amati Raidu we've got Johnny Bairstow on the other side all in all it should be an exciting game